So this is the Foxconn story. They have sealed a manufacturing deal with Chinese EV startup Byton. Now, Byton has ambitions not just to selling cars domestically, but also to other markets across the globe. And the reason I chose this story, what I think is interesting about it, we obviously understand the intimate relationship between Apple and Foxconn. Just like the story off the top about how Apple asks Foxconn to build, uh, make two mock-ups, two prototype shells for folding phones. Imagine Apple tax tasking Foxconn with, hey, we got to get this electric car thing sorted out. Mm -hmm. And then Foxconn can go and invest. Now, I don't know if this is uh, <laughs> what the stipulations are, the legalities around this. But let's say Foxconn goes and, and seals a major manufacturing deal with a major player in the Chinese EV market, let's say, Byton over here. I think the deal is worth is worth quite a few dollars, $200 million venture. And this company was struggling a little bit actually in the China Chinese EV market. So they come along, <laughs> give them the funds that they need, right? $200 million, but gets to learn a lot along the way, right? They get to learn all kinds of stuff that Apple, well, themselves, but also Apple may end up needing help with once they eventually approach their own electric car. Will, like, here's the thing that was, I think we missed, and I just haven't seen it talked about a lot. Tesla is an American company building cars in America for the American market. Now, when they go to some other market, they not always, but often aim to put a factory there as well in order to create cars for that particular market. Mm -hmm. There's incentives to do so when it comes to automotive. However, the interesting strategic component, the interesting uh, man management that Apple's going to have to deal with here is they've they haven't done that. They don't make anything in the US. They made the one Mac Pro, they made like 15 of them in Texas. Nothing major, nothing at scale. That's all Foxconn, for the most part, a couple of other players as well. But that's all other parties in different regions, Taiwan, uh, China, Vietnam, et cetera, that are responsible for fa fabricating their goods. Mm -hmm. So once you start doing a car, who's doing it and where? I start wondering, is it Apple themselves? Do they finally open their own factories? Because that's not what they have. Whether it's Foxconn or Wistron, it's always some other party responsible for the manufacturing, which will eventually have the Apple badge. Mm -hmm. Tesla, on the other hand, even when they go to Shanghai, they put the Tesla badge on the front doors mm -hmm. and on a, on a big building, and everybody works for Tesla. So it's kind of interesting that Apple's not exactly lined up for that. So when I see Foxconn make a move like this, I'm like, hmm, is Apple importing Chinese-made cars for the rest of the world? Is it feasible? Is, it, is there any cost benefit to doing so? Or do they just refine the manufacturing uh, through the extraction of information and learning from some relationship like mm -hmm. this, and then they, Foxconn, for example, could open plants to make that eventual Apple car in this variety of regions. That's another way in which it can happen. But anyway, this got me thinking about it because of this big investment and Foxconn betting on cars because it's not really their area of expertise, but they're seeing how the tech world and the car world is merging now and they're getting ahead of the game. And I think it helps them strategically, especially considering Apple's potential for that car in the, in the future.